as the organ inside the chapel thunders, Bach's prelude and fugue, the king takes his farewell, speaking to the Archbishop of Canterbury, the king so clearly moved by the service, particularly the end where he laid the standard on the coffin and watched the coffin lowered into the ground, into the vault below. the King's departure. The committal service here at St. George's Chapel has ended. The Queen's coffin, which has been seen by so many thousands over these past days, lowered out of sight into the vault to lie later alongside the coffins of her husband, her mother, and her father, and her sister. Many tributes have been paid to the Queen over these past days, some of them public, but many, many more by voices unheard, people talking among themselves, talking to their family and friends. There have been tributes too in services across the land, and then today at Westminster Abbey earlier, and here in St. George's Chapel this afternoon. But there is still one last service to be held here today, one from which the cameras and the public are excluded. A private burial service with just her closest family in attendance. When the Queen who in her life and death belonged to so many people will for a moment belong just to her family. And with me watching every moment of that service that was replete with symbolism and poignancy, William Shawcross and Sir David Canadine. Uh, William Shawcross, if I can come to you first of all, the words that so forcibly struck me were the Dean of Windsor's address saying, in the midst of our rapidly changing world, her calm and dignified presence has given us confidence to face the future. What were the standout moments for you? He was absolutely right. I thought his, his words were exquisite. He talked about her great faith, her kindness, which is terribly important, her concerns and her reassuring care for all of us. And he said that her long life has been a blessing to us. And in fact, he was absolutely right. A blessing to all of us as individuals and a blessing to the country and to the Commonwealth and thus, I think, to the world. Thank you. Uh, David Canadine, you were watching closely. We had... Um a great moment indeed where we looked through the window of the studio and saw the massed pipes and drums coming down. It was quite a significant moment and then we moved to this beautiful, peaceful moment inside St Giles and to see the family gathered and to see what was indeed a very intimate service. What did you make of it? Well, uh, both that service here at St George's Chapel and at Westminster Abbey were extraordinary and unforgettable. Um, cause for sadness and sorrow on the one side, but also amazing spectacle and splendour on the other. And I think we could probably all agree with some words Thank of Queen you. Victoria that Thank this will be a never to be forgotten day. And both today and in earlier days, I have thought of some words, late life words of the first Queen Elizabeth, which might equally have been spoken by her illustrious successor and namesake, and here they are. Though God hath raised me high, Yet this I count, the glory of my crown, that I have reigned with your loves. Thank it you. is not my you desire to you. live and reign longer than my but life and reign shall be for your good. And, and though you have had and may yeah. have many wiser and mightier Allah rulers Allah sitting Allah in this seat, Allah. yet you never had nor shall have Allah. any Allah. that will love you better. Beautiful and we must also remember, I think we talked about this earlier, that what we have just seen 
has never been seen before. We have been literally witnessing history as it has never been witnessed before, and that is quite a moment for, for historians to see, I'm sure, David. It certainly is. Um, this particular service that we have just seen has indeed never been seen before, and of course there are many other aspects of these lengthy obsequies uh, beginning at Balmoral that are new and that we have never seen before either, and maybe we will never see them again. Thank you both so much for your final okay, thoughts. Bye -bye, very guys. much. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated.